so I realize I look absolutely disgusting um, but today is Monday and I don't usually work Mondays um, so I've been home with Harmony we've been trying to clean the house but she's been very clingy today um, she just like wants to be carried and she's been hugging me because I was having a really tough day yesterday and she just like woke up and was hugging me and kissing me and I was like oh my baby she knows um, so yeah I promised her that after we ate our lunch that we would come outside and sit in the grass so here we are um, we're in the shade but I might take her into the Sun in a little bit are you playing are you playing and she does this like she'll just like open my legs <laughs> what are you doing Oh, look at it. She wants to sit with her mama. What are you doing? Where's your yeah. Hi, guys. Today is Tuesday. And um, once again, Harmony and me are home because I'm kind of stranded here, to be honest. Once again, the Subi broke down. Cesar's Subaru pretty much breaks down every year and it's not even that old it's a 2008 but he drives it a lot so like last year the firewall went out which is like this whole bracket why are we talking about cars anyway the subaru broke down so says had to take my car to work um so i'm kind of stuck here um but thankfully like i can like walk to starbucks walk to the grocery store if i need to leave the house um walk to the park whatever but i can't go to work because i don't have a car harmony is naked because she took her shirt off i i don't know why i think she was feeling a little sick again this morning i gave her her milky and then um i was giving her some oatmeal and then she just like came up and was crying and then all of a sudden she just threw up so yeah she's feeling a little sick but i just realized that I didn't show you guys the shoes that Cesar and Harmony got on Saturday. Um, we went to a store called Rack Room Shoes um, at the Camarillo Outlet. And they were having a sale that was like, buy one get one half off or something. So, <clears throat> Cesar got these shoes here. They're giant because, you know, they're a man shoe. But they're really nice. They're Pumas. But these are called the Puma Enzo shoes. And at first glance, I thought they looked kind of funny because the tongue goes up so high. But on, they look really, really nice. Um, they look really good on him. And he, like, trashed them on Saturday at his birthday party. So I tried to cl clean them up. Yes. This? Yeah, thank you. Yes. This? Yeah, thank you. And these are the shoes we got. Harmony, look at how cute they are. We got her some, I think they're faux leather or they're leather, I don't know. But they're the white leather Converse and I've been wanting to get her white Converse for so long. I don't like that they have laces though because that's just not my thing with her. I like to have the strap, the Velcro. But they're so cute and she trashed these at the party as well because my sister-in-law's house has a lot of dirt in the back. Um, and so I just wiped them up with a wipey and they're brand new. <clears throat> so Cesar's shoes we got for full price. And then Harmony shoes were priced at like $40, so we got them uh, for 20 bucks because they were half off. So these are so cute, and Harmony likes them. She was like stomping around all day in her little white shoes. Um, she's really a size three, but she's starting to grow out of it. So we got her a four, and the four is a little bit big, which is perfect because I don't want her to get like curled toes from having small shoes. I was watching some old videos, and like from like sometime last year and like why didn't y'all let me know in the comments that my eyebrows were terrible <laughs> like obviously then i don't have the best eyebrows in the world you know that's fine but in those old videos my eyebrows were so thick and like black black like black caterpillars on my forehead and I was looking at a video yesterday and I was like, oh my god, like what was I thinking uploading videos with my eyebrows like that? So I started using this new eyebrow product. Um, I don't know if it's like new, but it's new to me. Um, about going on two months ago and I mentioned it in a video, but I never used the footage because I, Harmony was like screaming in the background. So it is this here, but it is the e.l.f. brow pencil. It looks like this and then it has like a little spoolie on the end. But this, you can easily compare this to the Anastasia brow definer, which I actually bought. And 
I used it for a little bit and I didn't really like it. So I took it back. And when I was browsing through Target, I found this. And it was like two or three dollars. And it is the best two or three dollars I ever spent. It has done wonders for my eyebrows. I think my eyebrows look so much better than they used to, to be honest. Um, and then I'm rocking the baby hairs today, guys, because if you notice all of this here, yesterday she was an angel and today she's being crazy. I don't know what she wants. Um, but when Harmony was about three months old, I experienced a ton a ridiculous amount of postpartum hair loss like i was complete let's cover your chest i was completely bald like i will insert a picture this was all gone so all of these baby hairs right here this is all hair that just grew back and i'm really happy about it but i put i had lotion on my hands and my baby hairs were everywhere and they got all curly so i like tried to straighten them out and then i, I just kind of brushed them with lotion and now they look all like stiff and ugly <laughs> But whatever, I'm embracing the baby hairs today. Also, I forgot to mention in the last video that just went up, the Dirty 30. Click right here if you haven't seen it already. Um, I told you guys that Harmony woke up really cranky the other day, like screaming. And that was on Thursday and on Friday. Like she was so cranky. Um, so when we were out like paying our bills and everything, she was screaming with her mouth wide open. And I looked in her mouth, this little girl at 14 and a half months old cut her first molar she has a molar now like that is why she was getting so cranky and so fussy and she was having fevers like in and out she has a molar now so i just wanted to let you guys know that and then i don't you know obviously there's two things religion and politics that you shouldn't bring up so yesterday Cesar and i were talking and we decided that um like, just for us and, like, you know, for, I don't know. I just feel like we should start going to church again. Um, and I've always had my relationship and my faith in God, you know. But I never, like, actually go to church. So, we just decided, you know what, maybe we can start, like, making it a part of our life. And I obviously, I don't want to shove, like, religion or anything down anyone's throat. But we just kind of feel like... You know for us like we want to do this you know we want to start making it like a part of our life to go to church every sunday um and somebody just called me right now um i don't want to say who but um i was telling them like oh you know like we're i think we're gonna start going to church and they got mad um and for this person to be mad over something like that like it just made me really mad they were just like oh no like oh you don't need to go to church like that's not going to be part of like that's not going to make your life better like you think you think you're going to go to church just because you're having a bad time that has nothing to do with it things happen okay first of all the fact that this person is getting mad over that like i was just really mad um so if you have your faith you know don't let anybody else take that away from you you know like whatever your faith is <clears throat> you know if it makes you happy if it makes you feel fulfilled if it makes you feel if it fills your heart with joy don't let anybody take that away from you because the, for the fact that this person somebody that's a direct member of my family family um to be upset because i said and i want to go to church and <clears throat> it's just very upsetting to me um so like i said if you have your faith nobody can take that away from you um you know don't let anybody try to bring you down about it or try to change your views or whatever about how you want to live your life um, i think today where our plans for today we might take a walk to starbucks i'm gonna try to edit this video right now and then um take a walk to starbucks when it's her nap time so she can sleep and then i'm just gonna see if i can upload it at um starbucks because i'm gonna go get a drink and just kind of sit like hang out there for a little bit just get out of the house um and then i'm gonna come home and make dinner um so yeah i could upload it here but it, you know it's just fun to go to the coffee shop and be pretentious on my computer so